Geek XP. I'm Carson, and today I'm joined with... Hey, everybody, it's Marley. So, we're now... I'm just going to run through what's going on real quick again. We're part of Save Station, and we've merged into Geek XP. We're one channel right now, and Save Station is going to be the gaming portion of Geek XP. So, like the big Voltron of content. Yes. We're just all joined together, and Save Station will be focused primarily on just gaming. So, for gaming news, look out for the Save Station logo. Yep. So today we are going to be hitting on Breath of the Wild. The game is pretty much three weeks away. But Carson, you don't like Zelda at all. I love Zelda so much, Marley. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> so it's three weeks away, and that is like super close, and I'm so excited. And I thought to kind of like keep the hype alive, we're just going to talk about what we're looking forward to do first or a few of the first things that you want to do when you first get into this big open world yeah. in the Zelda, legend of zelda so uh marley do you want to go through some of your uh first um, things <laughs> for, i want to find something super high up and uh -huh. i want to jump off it with the glider with the go with or without i just want to board or i just want to do my favorite thing to do in spider-man 2 on the ps2 was get to the highest point in the game jump off of it and then web swing at the exact last second to see if I could make it. Sometimes I would just jump off and just let him die. Just because <laughs> it had this cool effect of, like, the wind rushing past you and stuff. It was really cool. So I, I just want to get somewhere high, and I want to jump. Whether or not I make it is up for, uh, up for grabs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but the thing I want to do the most, I want to tame a horse. Ooh. I want to start taming horses because that's the mechanic I think I'm easily the most excited about. Yeah, it's been confirmed that there are no horses on the plateau, uh -huh. but once you drop down the plateau, like, horses are right there. Yeah. So that, that'll probably be, like, one of the first things you can do when you glide the, down yeah. from the plateau. You, and then I've even seen gameplay where people try and time their glide right above a horse and just drop <laughs> onto the horse and grab on. That is, like, such a cool thing. Yeah, I would agree. I think horses are, like, playing a huge part in this game. And they can die. They ha it has been confirmed that they can die. <laughs> you're going to get attached, and you're going to name them, and then they're going to die. Yes. Um. So have those saves backed up so you can turn off and turn on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. What happens if you get a Pona and then she dies? <sighs> I, they yeah. confirm she's in the game. She's in the game, yeah. But uh, they are very cagey on what or how you how you get her. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be like you're going to have to go through a couple like stable quests. Yeah. And then once you do a bunch of them, they'll be like, oh, have you heard about this horse that's <laughs> hidden in this area? Yeah. I wanted to quickly go back to the first um, element that you wanted to do first was jump off something. What was really cool about Skyward Sword was you could do the free falling in the sky a lot. Yeah. And Link would put his hands out, kind of like eagle spread, like, like his, his wingspan. Exactly. Free, free falling. falling. <laughs> and what you could do is that was motion controls. You could tilt the Wiimote downward, yeah. and he would pick up speed. And he stuff. would pick up speed. He put his arm, tuck his arms in, yeah. and really like pick up his speed going down there. I hope if you get high enough, you're able to do that too. That like, would be cool. It's such a cool, like, element to feel, like, see Link skydiving. Yeah. And, like, the winds rushing past him and stuff. Dude, I I really like the loft wings. I wish oh, they'd yeah. come back in some some form or some way. They're, I yeah. it was a really cool companion. Oh, yeah. It's a great, it's an awesome way to travel. I just wish Skyward Sword had more to do in the sky. With, with the loft wings. Yeah, yeah, there just wasn't much to do with them. Yeah. But it was, it felt awesome flying around. Like, it felt great. Yeah. Uh, let me get right into one of my first things. I would say one of the very first things that I'm interested in doing is, obviously, I do the plateau stuff. I think everyone's going to have to do the plateau stuff because you can't get off the plateau without the glider. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But I want to, like, immediately start searching for the Great Deku Tree. So if I see, like, a forest that looks suspicious, if I see any large tree in the distance, mm -hmm. I'm going right for that. Yeah. No matter what. <laughs> no matter what stands in my way, I'm going to immediately try and find that Great Deku Tree. Mm -hmm. Because we know the Master Sword is there. 
There's yeah. a there's Koroks there and stuff. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> Why? What happened? And I feel like that would be a catalyst a for like first. figuring that out. A good first spot to start. Oh, excuse my <laughs> word vomit there. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, the Great Deku Tree for sure. And then I think a lot of people would probably say, oh, "I'm going right for Ganon." Like I know there's gonna be a bunch of people oh, that yeah. are gonna try just to try to beat him right away because they've confirmed you can go right to him right yeah I, I, like i said i think get off the plateau then you can just go wherever you want yeah and i don't i don't imagine they put it in there if it was impossible it's probably gonna be really 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 hard but there's probably the slightest itty bittiest chance that you can beat him right then and there <sighs> which yeah, is hilarious yeah that is gonna be crazy I can't wait to see what speedrunners do. Yeah, and I'm not gonna. I don't think either of us are gonna actually do that because no. that's gonna like spoil everything. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure. I want to experience. I want to experience the full. I want to find all those characters: the Goron, the Zora, yeah. the Gerudo. I want to find all those characters and see like what's happening yeah. in this world. I want to find it all out. Um, so that's probably gonna take a long time to do, but. <laughs> Uh, it's okay with me. Are you going to try to 100% the game on not, your first playthrough? Not the first playthrough, no. Um, I Because I want to try and get content out on the channel and stuff yeah. for it. And I'm still trying to figure out a good plan to do that. Yeah. Like, I could randomly like just like live stream all the time. Or just record a bunch of footage and then go back to it and just talk over it. And yeah. then post it on YouTube and stuff. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, feel free to give me suggestions on maybe how you would want to see Breath of the Wild content. I would definitely take that into consideration. Because it's just going to be a lot. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I can't even imagine. Like, there's going to be, I'm going to be doing so much content. It's just going to be solely Breath of the Wild content on. <laughs> For a while. For, from me, at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can do, like, discussion videos and stuff yeah. like that on that. So yeah, Great Day Q Tree. I don't want to go to the uh, Hyrule Castle straight away because I don't want it to be spoiled or anything. I want to know what the Korok seed puzzles are. Yeah. So like, there's 900 Korok seed puzzles, which is just so an unfathomable amount of puzzles. There's so many. I can't even comprehend that. But I want to know what's going on with those, and then I also want to know what's going on with the spirit orbs. When you go into a shrine and you beat the shrine, one of the Sheikah gives you a spirit orb or whatever. Yeah. And it goes into Link. You can collect a lot of those and they do stuff. Yeah. And I don't know what it might up. Maybe like it'll give them more abilities eventually mm -hmm. when you get enough. So shrines are obviously another big thing that I want to. If I see a shrine glowing in the distance, I'm probably going to start heading towards it. I want to really start messing around with the crafting system. Because mm. we've never had that in a Zelda game before. Now, like, we can make armor and weapons and, like... Yeah. It's almost an RPG at that point. Well, like, listen, listen, different... You know the uh, shield surfing and snowboarding? Yeah. Your shield... There are different shields are better at the surfing than others. That's awesome. It's not just, like... Every shield does the same thing. Yeah. Certain ones are probably faster. Some handle better. That's it's like there's a lot of detail in the little things. Yeah. There's unique animations for every weapon in the game. That's so cool. Any weapon that looks different from the other one has a unique animation. That's so cool. That's It's this, awesome. This game is going to be my whole life. <laughs> this game is just going to destroy me for like a solid month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> But yeah, those are my uh, primary goals. Uh, so Great Deku Tree and Shrines. And yeah. yours were jump off something high. Jump off something high, <laughs> the crafting system, yep. and then taming a horse. horse. Yep. So those are, uh, I think, pretty good goals from us. Let us uh, know what you guys want to do. If you're getting Breath of the Wild for either the Wii U or Switch, let us know what you want to do first in Breath of the Wild. As I said before, I think you got to get off the plateau to really get into the game. But there's the plateau in it is big. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think there's three or four shrines on the plateau. So, Jeez. yeah, let us uh, know about that, guys, and we'll see you at your next save.